I hope that everyone had a very Merry Christmas and happy holidays this year. I am back to do my annual what I gave for Christmas and this year I am posting this obviously after Christmas because I don't want there to be any chance of spoiling Christmas presents this year. I think usually every year I post it before Christmas but I tell my family don't watch this video. I'm not risking anything. I don't think they've ever watched those videos before. Again, I'm not risking anything. So I'm here today to show you what I got my family for Christmas this year and I am so excited. So we'll first start off with Spencer, my husband. Also, if you want to see what we ended up giving Spencer's family for Christmas this year, go check out our combined channel, Audrey and Spencer, where we did a Christmas present wrapping and Q&A, and you'll see some of those gifts in that video. Okay, so the first thing that I got for Spencer actually came from a store in person because this year I did a lot of my shopping online, so it was very few things I actually picked up in store, but this was one of them and obviously you can tell it came from the mall, came from Hollister. Every year I like to shop for clothing pieces for Spencer because he hardly ever goes out and gets something for himself. And so I just like to freshen up his wardrobe, find some things that he might like and maybe explore some new styles, see if he likes them. When I saw this sweater, I thought it was the cutest, most comfiest thing. So, so this is from Hollister. This is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. It is so nature vibes. Um, it says Lake Tahoe, Sierra Nevada. Now we've never been there before, so I hope it's not weird to get him like a sweater to a place he's never been before but I just loved the print on this like are you kidding me I love this print so much he has like a shirt in this color and I think he really likes it and it just fits the vibe it's so soft it has fleece lining on the inside so I hope he loves this one I got one more sweater from Hollister and it has like a really cool fabric I think it's like waffle you can't really tell on camera because it's a dark color but I think it's waffle print. Let me try to get like a very close up. Okay, you can kind of see the ridges close up. Oh, there you go. Okay, thank you camera for coming in clutch. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's a nice black zip up collar long sleeve shirt and I just thought this was a very like nice staple sweater to have. Fit literally every occasion. You can dress it up, dress it down and it's very soft. <laughs> Another clothing item that I got for him this year are actually sock ties. These have been all the rave recently and I have been seeing this go around. They're very trendy and let me try to show you one of them. Also, if you couldn't tell, I'm filming this before Christmas, before I give all my family their gifts. <laughs> Just posting this after Christmas so everything might be in its packaging a little bit still. Okay, so this is what the sock tie looks like. Oh, here you go. So I'm guessing like it's literally made from socks. I don't, I, I, I don't know. It has a very nice material and the bottom instead of usually point being pointy like a normal tie it's just straight flat like a sock like literally I think you can oh it's sewn I was gonna say you can stick your fingers in it but you can't um but yeah so I got him in a pack of different colors and I hope he likes them it's something new that he's never had before this is actually the first Christmas present purchase I made the whole season and that is a yo-yo so if you guys didn't know Spencer is big into yo-yoing he has been ever since he was a preteen really like middle school high school and he has a specific yo-yo that is his favorite it's called the manatee but sadly they discontinued they don't sell the manatee anymore and his favorite yo-yo the manatee broke and he can't get it fixed like the part that's broken on it is not fixable or whatever so he was so devastated when that happened because it's just been his favorite but then recently they've restocked with the mini tee so it's a smaller version of the manatee this is my first time unboxing it so let's look at it together and then i'm gonna put it back in its box oh they give him like a little pin that is so cute okay this is fun i got it in a vibrant orange color i'm not sure if he has any orange yo-yos so this will be a fun new color to his collection and this is so adorable are you kidding me this is so cute this is so small so it doesn't come with a string but spencer has lots of strings for his yo-yos this is so cute i think he's gonna love this so much i hope 
it performs like he is expecting it to. Oh, it does come with a string. It's just at the bottom of the box. <laughs> okay, one of his big Christmas presents this year is a tradition we have every year. And I usually get him either like a video game we can play together or a Lego set to build. Last year, I gave him a ginormous R2-D2 Lego set that literally took all of Christmas Day. That's all we did was just build this R2-D2. This year, I don't think it's as big, but it's still cool. I'm getting him a Fender guitar. Car Lego set. If you didn't know, Spencer is super big into music. He's been basically involved in music his whole life. He's really good. He's learning about music production too, just as like a hobby on the side. And so we recently went to the Lego store in New York the last couple of months. He saw a bunch of Lego sets and I told him, you know, if you were to get any, which ones would you like? So he gave me a couple of options and I decided to go with this one. He doesn't know, well, he now knows because it's been Christmas, but he doesn't know which one I'm getting him so I think it'll be a little fun surprise on Christmas Day. All right now let's move on to my side of the family. Everyone in my family had the same budget per person so some people might look like they have more gifts than others but it all added up to the same number in the end. Even though like all the, the quantity is pretty similar for all of them too. Okay we're gonna start off with my dad and if you watched my going Christmas shopping Christmas present shopping video you would know that my dad is literally the hardest person to shop for. Every Every year I like I don't know why dad gifts are just so hard for me same with brother gifts I need help I need ideas let me know what you got your dad this year but um this year I decided to surprise my dad and maybe some of my brothers too <laughs> with their very own comfy blanket. So I had this idea come to me one day when I was just like chilling at nighttime with my own comfy on and I was like, this is so convenient because it's a blanket you wear. So if you didn't know what a comfy is, this is the comfy dream. It's literally just a blanket hoodie that you put on and you can walk around the house. It doesn't drag on the floor. It's warm, it's so, it's literally comfy. And I got my dad <laughs> this favorite color, neon orange. I cannot believe they had a neon and orange comfy. So I think this is gonna be so funny when he unboxes this because he has so many neon orange clothing pieces. It's so funny, but I really hope he likes his comfy. While we're on the neon orange trend, something my dad specifically asked for this year. It's a very adult thing. It's levelers for your trailer. <laughs> so if you don't know what a leveler looks like, let me show you. They are also neon orange. So this one comes like in a pack of 10, I think. I think it was 10. Basically, for when you're camping with a trailer, the ground's not always gonna be even, and so you need to level out your tires, your wheels, and so you're not like sleeping slanted and all that. And so I guess he needs some brand new ones, and now he has them. <laughs> so a couple of videos back, I was testing out TikTok shop products that were recommended to me, and one of them was a Bluetooth wireless microphone that connects to your phone. And ever since that video, my whole family literally borrows that product so much. Like I don't even have that at my house right now. They have mine, like they use it all the time. It's been so handy. So I thought this year I would surprise my dad with his very own. And this one's cool because I didn't mean for this. I was only gonna get him one uh, little microphone, but it came with two. So he has two wireless microphones and a receiver that just plugs right into your phone. And it's literally the best thing ever for filming in public when you don't want to be so loud and cause so much attention to yourself you can just kind of go undercover and talk and they've worked really well for me so far and I, I hope he gets a lot of use out of this he's got a lot of use out of mine <laughs> All right, now moving on to mother. So mom this year, I got her some slippers off of Amazon and I was specifically looking for arch support slippers because she does like have some like arch problems. Like her feet start hurting after a while if they don't have like arch support shoes in them. Anyway, she wanted some brand new slippers this year. And so I decided to get her some and it's this nice black fuzzy, let's see if the camera will zoom in. Ooh, there you go. And it has the nice nice arch support right here and it's super nice because they come apart like Velcro right here. And so you can kind of like adjust it to your shoe size with the Velcro on top like that. So they feel very 
soft and I hope they're just as comfy as they were advertised. They got really good reviews online, so hopefully they work. They don't come in the cutest packaging, but <laughs> they have art support. <laughs> so while we were also in New York, we visited the Nintendo store and I was like, hey family, if there's any games that you would want for Christmas, let me know and you might get it. And one game that like really screamed mom and caught my eye was this. It's called The Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. And if you guys don't know, there's a game called Harvest Moon that I feel like is very similar to this game. I have never played this game before, but it gives Harvest Moon vibes. Like the characters look similar, the dogs look similar, and the whole vibe it just fits. And we have Harvest Moon on our GameCube, our Nintendo GameCube. We don't have it on the Switch. And so I think this would be a fun new game for mom to play. Mom's very into video games and she definitely loves like these kind of games. So hopefully it's fun for her and we'll see how similar it is to Harvest Moon. And lastly, what I got for mom is brand new Switch controllers because she currently shares a Switch with my younger brother, Tyler. Ty plays a lot of games like Smash Bros where he's constantly like jabbing the little controllers, like the little knobs on the controllers. I don't know what these are called, but he's like constantly moving them around to the point where he's caused drift on their current pair and my mom's already had to replace that pair and it has drift again like it's so much drift and so I was like it affects every game she plays because she can no longer stay still like she always has to be moving these things or her character's just gonna be constantly walking around due to the drift because her controllers are basically broken so I'm like okay I'm gonna get my mom her very own pair that she doesn't need a share of tie because you can switch out the controllers anytime you want to she can pop them in when she's gonna play and pop them out when she's done and then she'll have her own drift free controllers and I thought this was a cute combo it's in the lilac and light green pastel green it's pastels I just thought it was super cute and I hope she likes it <laughs> next up is my sister Jordan can you guys tell I went in age order here except for Spencer he was first but <laughs> okay so for Jordan one of the things we did for her channel this year was Christmas wish list like what we would like to get for Christmas we made a video on that and I actually bought this the day before we filmed that video, but apparently she has like a whole Pinterest board of things that she wants for Christmas. So shopping for her is literally the easiest. And I sh like, I, I find stuff for her so quickly because we think similar. And so I'm like, whatever I like, I know she'll like. And one of the things that were was on her Pinterest board wish list, but I got right before her video was the Sol de Janeiro body spray. So I got it in number 68. It's this pink color. Um, it's Brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit so very fruity I hope she wanted the scent I know there's a bunch of different numbers I'm not sure like which one she specifically wanted I think like the orangey ones like the orange color ones are like going viral but one of you guys commented on my Instagram story for when I asked for trying your recommended products that you really love the Sol de Janeiro and number 68 so I was like okay I know you guys love this scent and I trust you guys's nostrils that it'll smell good <laughs> um so I ended up getting Jordan this one and I think I think it'll be nice I can't wait for her to spray it because I've never I've never smelled any of the Sol de Janeiro's in person and so that was really fun. Okay, I also ended up getting Jordan her very own microphone for her filming as well. I think this will be very useful in college when she wants to film in public places, but she doesn't want to be like, everyone's staring at me because she has to like whip out the camera. So this will be nice for phone recording. One thing that Jordan has been wanting recently a lot is actually a portable speaker. We've been going on so many hikes together and Jordan is a music listening girly. She cannot like go on any hikes without listening to music. And the first thing we do every time she gets in the car is turn on the music. Like before even turning on the car, she got to turn on the music. So she's very much into listening to her, her playlists and stuff like that. That. So there's sometimes on like when we go hiking together that we want to listen to the same music together But the phone just doesn't work. It's just not as loud for us all to listen unless we're like we're super close So I got her her own portable speaker that can attach to her hiking backpack It comes with its own carabiner up top. It's by the brand JBL I've used JBL speaker products before and I love them This is also waterproof and dustproof and has 10 hours of playtime and I really liked the color so so hopefully it works for her and I hope she likes it or hope she liked it again I'm filming this in the past before Christmas, but she's already opened it by the time this video goes out <laughs> 
And the last thing I got for Jordan actually came in this super cute bag. And I actually found it on TikTok. It was one of the very first TikTok shop purchases I've made. And I thought it was so cute. So it's this sweater and it has a bunch of little lambs on it. Like this just screams Jordan. It also has the fleece lining on the inside. I think she's really into these creamy colors. And then on the sleeve, it says on the sleeve embroidered it says he left the 99 for the one so it's just like a little scripture reference and I think I don't know I just love this I would love to have this myself and it's just so cute so cute thoughtful and has like a deep meaning okay who is next now moving on to my brother Jacob <laughs> so Jacob is is super into gaming. He has his very own YouTube channel called Jake and Ty where they do weekly gaming live streams. So one of the first things I got was something off of his Steam wish list, but the things I have in person to show you is also similar to gaming, and that is a new wireless mouse. He has a wireless mouse right now, but it is currently dying and he hates it. Like it's just losing its rechargeableness. Rechargeableness? I don't even know if that's a word, but Anyways, he, he's gotten really mad at it recently, so I'm like, okay, we'll get you a brand new one that's not wired. He wants to go wireless everything, so I think my mom got him a wireless headset for Christmas too. I have a Logitech wireless mouse right now, and I really love it, so I decided to get him one of his own. And then, like I said earlier, I got all the boys in my family their very own comfy. So here's Jacob's, and it's in this print right here. It's like a blue tie-dye. It kind of reminds me of the clouds. And Jake's favorite color, is his favorite color blue or is it orange? I don't even know, I'm questioning everything now, but I think he'll like this print nonetheless. And he can match dad and Ty, but in a different color. Oh, and you're wondering what kind of comfy I got my youngest brother, Tyler? Well, let me show you. His favorite color is purple. And so this is the print that I got him. And my mom was like, please get him the comfy because I, well, I asked her, I was like, do you think the boys would like this? And she's like, yes. Cause right now Ty just drags his big heavy blanket around the house and it just gets in the way and it gets wrapped around everything. And so this will be nice cause he'll just wear it and it won't get stuck on things like his gaming chair. And then another thing that I got Ty is a display case because my brothers are into collecting just like collector's knives. They don't use them for anything just to like look at and display. So I got him his very first First display case and a knife to go with it. All right, that is what I gave for Christmas this year. It was so much fun Christmas shopping for everyone. And I look forward to the day where they get to all open up their presents and see what they got. Like, honestly, I look forward to them opening their presents more than like me opening their presents because I just love seeing their reaction on their face when they do that. And I hope everyone loved what they got this year. But if you guys wanna see what I got for Christmas this year, I'm gonna be posting that video very, very soon and yeah I hope y'all had a happy holiday and a very Merry Christmas I love you guys so very much and I will see you guys next time